Okay, so let's find all the critical numbers for this function. Okay, and x is between 0 and 2 pi. So then dy over dx, leave the 100 there. Differentiate the sine, you get cosine of x. So you get 1 plus cosine of x plus sine of x. And this will become, if you differentiate that, you get minus sine of x. Okay, let's clean that up. Expand, you get a cosine of x plus cosine squared x. And here we get minus sine squared x. Okay, so we have two cosine versus one sine. Let's use the um, Pythagorean identity to convert that into um, cosine, which is one minus cosine squared x. Okay, so if you expand that, you're gonna get, okay, let me just write it out, cosine of x, cosine squared x, minus one plus cosine squared x. So we're gonna get two plus cosine of x minus one. This is factorable. Two, one, right? So two cosine of x, cosine of x, uh, negative one, one. So two minus one gives you one. So we get 100 times by two cosine of x minus one, cosine of x plus one. Okay, set that equal to zero. And we get, from here we get cosine of x is equal to half. From there, cosine of x is equal to negative one. Okay, so let's look at the cosine graph. Cosine graph looks like this. 0 to pi, where does it equal to half? One's right here, which is pi over 3. And it's another one right here, which is going to be 2 pi minus pi over 3. So that's 6, um, 5 pi, 5 pi over 3. So from here, you get x equals pi over 3, 5 pi over 3. And where does it equal to negative 1? Here's negative 1. And that happens exactly at pi. So those three are your critical numbers.